Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. So this video we are breaking down the November to December energetic forecast for my Geminis. So we'll be looking into your finances, career, love life, relationships, your health, lessons that you may encounter this month, and some advice to get through the month. We're going to be looking at all of those things to get a really good forecast of what to expect. Now I am reading the charts based on your tropical astrology placements, but feel free to substitute in place of your own astrological preferences. And like I said, this is for all of my Geminis, that is Sun moon rising and venus and you can check out your other signs reading all listed down below in the description so this month like the last two months i have added back these three piles here so that the way not every gemini is getting the same general message for the month and just like last month and the month before i will not be divining the cards in these three piles down here i repeat i will not be divining the cards in these three piles down here I'm just basically reading their descriptions and then um, getting out of the way and allowing you guys' intuition to come in and fill in the blanks uh, to derive a more personal message for the month that you can combine with this general reading here to get a really good reading for the month ahead. So there will be a meditation to help you select a pile for a more personal message after this general reading here. The timestamps to all of that are listed down below. And I'm currently not taking personal readings and probably will not be until sometime in 2021 because I've been working on a project that will hopefully Hopefully debut by this upcoming January and so a lot of energy has gone into that but thank you guys so much for your patience now let's just go on ahead and get to why it is that you clicked on this video jump into your general forecast to see what you can expect over the next month here all right Gemini so the very first placement that we are going to be talking about with you is Sun and Mercury transiting your sixth house in the sign of Scorpio so first things first Gemini I have to ask what about your routine are you trying or wanting to change and I don't know why sorry if you guys could really hear that with my mic sitting on the desk <laughs> um, but I don't know why but I feel like for some of you um, the thing that you really want to change about your routine is more sleep some of you haven't been getting sleep and it's affecting everything from your physical health to mental state and your emotional tolerance and look we have here the five of swords the card of the mind very stubborn ego very stubborn pride so like i said um you not getting enough sleep has been affecting everything from your physical health to your mental state your emotional tolerance even your physical appearance and i feel like some of my gemini's as well have received some sort of health warning like to lay off of coffee or greasy foods or more or eat more greens the only thing is some of you aren't taking this um advice seriously you're not taking this warning seriously and the warning that i'm picking up here is actually coming from your own body gemini it's like the calls are coming from inside the house you know <laughs> there's something that you are feeling intuitively about your own body and you have an idea of what the symptom or feeling is stemming from but a part of you may be in denial and thinking to yourself oh I'm just being dramatic you're talking yourself out of what you were feeling because you haven't gotten that confirmation from like science or a doctor even if you feel like you're being dramatic, if your being tells you to drink more water or to get more rest or to eat better or to work out more or to stop or start doing something, please listen to that advice, Gemini. But with this five of swords right here, there is like some stubbornness. There's definitely some stubbornness and some rigidity. And when we deal with the five of swords, what we're kind of dealing with is like, okay, this person just kind of has to learn the hard way or they have to learn on their own kind of in a sense. Um, and so, you know, don't allow it to get to that point don't allow your body to get to the point where it's just like okay you're just gonna have to learn the hard way like boom you're just gonna crash one day because you, you just will not give up caffeine you know something like that so um you don't want to push your body to its limits okay um especially with all this energy happening in capricorn that we've been having in capricorn uh the, for this past year especially um so yeah you know please listen to your body and the sixth house it rules health habits routine and your sixth house is under the government of scorpio gemini who is highly intuitive and you have your ruling planet mercury in the sign of uh scorpio this month in your sixth house um so he's under this energy along with the sun that brings illumination awareness and truth so you're not being dramatic or difficult or overzealous this is something to heed okay take this as 
um, your your confirmation because a lot of you haven't told anyone what you're feeling or sensing because some of you are a little worried or even scared. But listen, Gemini, don't be afraid. This is why your body is sending you signals and messages and communicating with you, sending you warnings because it's saying, hey, it's not too late to get a professional opinion or it's not too late to change things around. So don't be afraid. Just listen and adapt, okay? Moving on here to Venus um, transiting your fifth house in the sign of Libra. Now, Venus is working your fifth house, the house of the ego, creativity, youth, flirtation, and fun. And this is why most of you don't want to deal with anything heavy right now because Venus um, returning to her native sign um, in the fifth house. So you are a naturally fun, youthful, invigorating sign, full of life and energy. And you are getting a big dose of that, which is never a bad thing. But I'm also seeing here a really wild idea come to some of you and you being very attracted or tempted to pursue it to bring this idea to fruition and venus is the planet of creation life the mother the womb she's all about making things tangible and real in your fifth house there's a really great possibility with my gemini's having a hand in creating something that is revered and admired by other people again it's just a matter of if you listen to that intuitive voice that says hey let's go create something today let's go let's go make something beautiful Either you'll do it or you'll find an excuse not to because you're busy or you're working or for some other reason. Um, but consider it because especially if you're some sort of artist, which I believe we all have artistic abilities, right? But if your work has to do with creativity, then you have the opportunity to create some of your best and most successful work this month with this placement here. Now, moving on here to Mars in your 11th house um, in the sign of Aries. One second. Let's see what this card is. And I'm dropping your cards everywhere. So see, we have the star right here in reverse. It is all about creating for you this month. And the star in reverse can kind of talk about creating something that maybe you gave up on a long time ago because maybe you didn't see any results from it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like trying it, taking a swing at something again. But yeah, moving on here to Mars transiting your 11th house in the sign of Aries. So Mars will be going direct on November 13th in the sign of Aries in your 11th house. So the, this is the house of collective of perspective and wishes granted. So again, this is setting the stage for potential success in a field that garners there's a lot of attention for you but again this is all about taking the plunge and creating the idea that you see in your mind's eye and so we have here the king of swords so yeah this is really standing in your divine masculine energy and saying um and really standing behind your ideas that you get this month really standing behind um the way that you want to express yourself the way that you want to talk we have two swords cards here so this is all about kind of dealing with the element of air communication learning intellect things like that perspective this is all about kind of taking the plunge and creating the idea that you see in your mind's eye okay and you may be very self-conscious about this creation because of all that sixth house energy and i'm kind of seeing you being a little bit self-conscious with the star card in reverse even with this um five of swords right here the five of swords is actually very very self-conscious he's actually a lot more um gentle and soft and afraid than what he seems to be and this is the way that he expresses those fears this is the way that he expresses his vulnerability is through this like very rigid sort of egotistical prideful sort of stance that he takes with other people and because of that it's like he has at this brick wall and people are like i'm not i'm not gonna work my ass off to get through to you you know so it's kind of like um it's kind of like that but underneath it all it's like he wants somebody to fight he wants somebody to fight. He doesn't want people to give up as easily. He loves the fight. He loves the fact. It's like his love language, the fact that people are fighting to try to get to him, you know? Um. So yeah, for sure. He's actually somebody that's pretty self-conscious. And that's what I'm kind of picking up here, especially with all the sixth house energy, you know? So you may be very self-conscious about this creation or this idea, but don't think about debuting this project and putting it out into the world. Don't concern yourself with any of the logistics right now. All this energy is asking you to do is to have fun and to be in your element huge possibility of making amends with a friend or someone in your life because you were feeling so much more evolved past the bullshit in the month of november moving into december and we have the five of swords and the star card which i said the star card in reverse is kind of like taking a swing at something again and because like i said it's kind of like you're past the bullshit you're past this five of swords and you're more so sitting in your king of swords energy now so you're very past this stuff and something you're very past something that really hurt you or set you in the past and it's gonna feel like 
water under the bridge and I'm sensing this other person is also ready to put this to bed so you could definitely move forward in a relationship that has been challenging lately or that you um kind of haven't really had contact with now Mars in your 11th house has also come to protect you from something here Gemini and we also have the five of swords right here with the king of swords which I see as a uh, protection I don't know why but Mars is coming in strong with a lot of energy to protect you from someone that you call a friend and it's not that this person has it out for you but they have their own demons that they're wrestling with right now and they may find it difficult to be happy for anyone else in their life and with all these good vibes and blessings and opportunities and changes coming to you this month this person may not be able to be as happy for you as they seem to be but it's not something that you'll really be able to tell because many of you will feel on cloud nine this month look at that the world that's how you're gonna feel i was just saying that you're gonna feel on cloud nine and look we have the world right here who is kind of like, she's kind of like this ethereal being that is up in the clouds, you know? You're going to feel on cloud nine, and so this other person just, they they might not be able to be as happy for you, and you're going to fly above the envy and the jealousy. Um, you're, you're very, very protected. Very, 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 very protected. And so with this new moon happening in your sixth house, it'll be a fantastic time for you to manifest discipline and strength and to stay away from... um. To stay away from anything that's causing you neglect to your health, Gemini, focusing on a schedule or routine or a diet that helps you preserve your health and improve it. And if it isn't about health for you, then this is about manifesting self-discipline to help you accomplish whatever goals you may have. OK, and then so underneath the deck, we have the seven of cups. Yeah. You have a lot of goals, a lot of ideas. And so definitely, like I was saying, um, this new moon happening 11 happening November 14th or the 15th depending on where it is that you live in the world um definitely manage try to manifest some self-discipline to help you get to those goals to really help you reach them okay let's go ahead and check out you guys' oracle cards here so we'll start off with your chakra card so we have here root chakra soulmate okay so your oracle cards are just getting straight to it and there's a soulmate coming in for some of you for very many of my gemini's or a soulmate that is coming in to kind of help ground you this month to really help kind of be a lending ear and it might not be a romantic soulmate this could be a friend that is a soulmate it could be a family member that is a soulmate it could be a pet that is a soulmate you know in my opinion i believe that soulmates come in many different shapes forms and sizes and i don't believe that soulmates are strictly you know romantic Romantic. I, I do believe that sometimes they can be platonic or something like that. Um, but I definitely see the soulmate coming in for you kind of um, as a as a means to support you and as a means to kind of be like your cheerleader this month to really help you kind of go after your goals and the things that you want. Because like I said, you might be feeling a little extra self-conscious this month. So I do see the soulmate coming in and being like, you're the shit. Like, you know, I just see them being like this cheerleader, like putting you back in that mindset where you're like, you know what? I can do this. I kind of see them like pumping you up, gassing you up. Up, but it's a really good thing here um, because you do need to stay in your king of swords energy your king of swords energy is here the, the door is open for you to sit in this king of swords energy the thing is is that you might feel a little disconnected from it sometimes with the star in reverse and this five of swords right here um you know and you may be searching for it with this world card right here um and the seven of cups but i definitely see like this soulmate this friend somebody that's really genuine coming in and slapping you back in place and being like do you remember who you are? Like, remember who you are. You are that person, you know? The next card that we have here is Throat Chakra Expansion. Like I said, we have some swords cards here, and that deals with the element of air, which is all about communication, intellect, the mind. So definitely, for sure, one thing that I'm picking up with this Throat Chakra Expansion card is expanding outside of the way that you talk to yourself, expanding outside of the way that you perceive yourself. Don't just perceive yourself. Like I said, there's a lot of self-conscious energy that I'm picking up for you this month moving into December. So don't just perceive yourself in a way where you're like comparing yourself competing with someone else thinking to yourself like is it going to be good is it going to be great I told you guys I see you creating some of your best work this month if you allow yourself to kind of get into that um place where you're not feeling too self-conscious to the point where it keeps you from from creating from being inspired so what I'm really seeing with this throat chakra card is you expanding your own vocabulary outside of a sense and you're a Gemini you are you are Gemini okay like <laughs> you are the mind you know the god of the mind rules you so um it's very easy for you to kind of shift your perspective to shift your vocabulary 
And because your mind is so curious, um, it's very easy for you to expand outside where it's like, you know what? I don't need to see myself as self-conscious anymore. I don't need to see myself as insecure. I need to put myself in a way where I, I perceive myself to be someone that can get things done, that is confident. It's all going to be about your perception this month, Gemini. Your perception is what's going to help you be extremely successful this month. Okay, look, another root chakra card here, perfection. Some of you guys are aiming for perfection. This card has come up for a couple of signs too. Some of you guys are really aiming for perfection. It makes sense. Mercury is your ruling planet. Um, so, you know, you guys do kind of shoot for precision, perfection, efficiency, things like that. But the thing is, is that you're going to create something perfect when you get into that flow space, when you stop being self-conscious and when you remember who you are, when you step into that King of Swords energy, that's when you're going to step into this place of perfection because that root chakra is going to be activated. It's going to be strong and it's going to be protecting you. That the way you can go off and create everything it is that kind of comes to your mind and kind of pursue these goals and dreams that you have and ambitions that you have. And then we have here a sacral chakra impasse. So, okay, so you're kind of coming up to a place where it's like a fork in the road. And it's like, you have to decide, do I want to be in my five of swords energy or my king of swords energy? That's what I'm picking up here. It's like, how do I want to handle this? Like I said, the star in reverse for very many of you is kind of like taking a swing at something again. And you taking a swing at this opportunity again is an impasse for you where it's like, okay, I'm coming up on the same options that I had last time. And this is how I handled this, this decision last time. This is how I handled um, this kind of situation last time. And so, like I said, you have a choice this month. Do you want to be in your five of swords? Like I'm scared, I'm self-conscious, so I'm just going to be defensive and have my walls up. Or do you want to step into this king of swords energy who's like you can't even touch me i am sitting so fresh so clean on my throne like you cannot touch me like i am i'm just here being me creating living a great life living my best life being the beautiful person that i am creating beautiful things around me manifesting beautiful beautifulness around me you know it's all about really what energy do you want to be in so like i said really expanding your vocabulary the way that you perceive yourself to be outside of what you normally your normal limitations so normally you may see yourself as like i procrastinate for instance something like that um th that's actually kind of an example that came from me <laughs> i noticed that about myself a few days ago it was like wow i really procrastinate right to the last minute and then like I just work like all night and it's just it's such a horrible habit but <laughs> I've been like I've been like that for years since I was like in high school I've been like that since I was in like middle school honestly and so um it's something that I have to work really really hard to change but this is the same message kind of applying for you yes you can change it it's going to take some hard work but you can change it just expand yourself outside of the way that you see yourself already that's what's going to connect you to this king of swords energy your at your astrology cards for the month sixth house routine yeah i think we were talking about your sixth house weren't we i believe we were talking about your sixth house i thought we were yeah you have sun and mercury in your sixth house in the sign of scorpio so yeah we we definitely talked about this already but there is a lot of things that i see you changing about your routine one of them in particular was sleep like i mentioned earlier and the way that you kind of talk about yourself the way that you view yourself really needs to change it's going to help to to get you into a routine to get you into a habit where it's like um because it's a hab it's habitual the way that you see yourself the way that you talk to yourself it's almost second nature and so that's something that you really have to change up about your routine but another thing that's going to help you change that up is how you take care of your body getting more sleep getting more water getting more rest things like that and then we have here libra i balance yeah exactly um weren't we talk who was who was in libra for you venus was in in libra well venus is in libra for everyone but yeah we were talking about venus and libra in your fifth house so this is about for you um you know working with creativity working with creativity as well as to venus being in libra she's in your fifth house so this has a some sort of a connection to your ego to your identity the way it is that you see yourself and you're gonna really need to balance out your ego because five of swords is a highly activated card or energy that deals with the ego so you're really gonna want to balance out the ego and your higher self with this king of swords right here the world card talks all about um how everything is connected right and so you're really gonna want to balance out this five of swords energy and this king of swords energy Energy for sure the next cards that we have is lunar eclipse and it says here releasing the past 
breakthrough, pushing limitations and healing, Mm -hmm. releasing the past for sure. Um, I talked about that earlier with your astrological chart, how you may be kind of releasing the past with somebody in your life and kind of getting over the things that kind of made you guys um, fall out in the first place. Like I said, you're rising up to this King of Swords energy from this Five of Swords energy where you were more defensive in a sense, but now you're feeling more relaxed. Like, hey, like, I'm the king of swords. You can't touch me. I'm sitting in my divine masculine energy. I'm good. I'm straight. And and you're you're good enough to actually give somebody a second chance is what I'm really seeing here. So this lunar eclipse is you having a major um, emotional intuitive revelation where it's like, you know what? I feel really at peace within my own spirit enough to kind of allow you back in my life should I choose to, you know, and then we have here palace Athene and her wisdom, like what I was just talking about, having this huge emotional realization um, that, hey, you know what? My heart is able and ready to forgive my heart is able and ready to get over this like this is water under the bridge for me overall energy for the month look speak your truth this is what i was talking about with that throat chakra energy and this expansion card right here really expanding your vocabulary outside of the words that you use to describe yourself right now yeah we were also talking about your fifth house venus being in your fifth house um really connecting you back to your identity and your ego the way it is that you see yourself so speaking your truth is very important in terms of how it is that you see yourself because um, what I'm picking up from the speak your truth card is what you speak over yourself is what becomes your truth. So be very careful and aware of that this month. Then we have your trust. So um, what I'm picking up with this trust card is like that person who whoever it is that may be coming back in your life, you can trust them. And I, I believe that you know that though. I believe that you're also going to extend trust. I believe that you're going to give them enough rope to hang themselves. And if it happens again, it happens again. I believe that you're just at such a peaceful place to where you're just like, you know what? If this happens again, if we fall out again, if I have to deal with this again, then I'll deal with it. Not a big deal. It's just, it's not a big deal to you anymore is what I'm really picking up. Advice for the month. We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay, so this soulmate card here for very many of you was talking about a romantic cycle beginning for you guys. And we also have the Libra I balance card. So there's a lot of romance coming through for my Geminis this month. A lot of romance coming through. Then we have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, so you guys have romance and prosperity coming through. So this is money. This is romance. This is your love life. This is a lot of things kind of being resurrected in your life that may have felt a bit dull in the past. But there's a lot of prosperity in terms of your love life, as well as even in terms of um, how it is that you express yourself, as well as too, I see prosperity in the sense of like finances. So I'm also seeing prosperity for you in in the sense of, um, you know, finances changing around and prosperity being in your future, a lot of prosperity being in your future, which is a very beautiful thing. So let's go ahead and check out these two cards here that will be showing me how you heal and get through this month. And so we have here omens. Like I was telling you guys, this is what I was talking about. Whatever it is that you feel with your body, any sort of warning that you feel with your body, with your body communicating to you, hey, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't eat any fast food today or maybe we should lay off the greasy foods for a little bit. Listen to that because that is an omen that is coming through for you. And like I said, it's not something to scare you. It's more so your body trying to communicate with you and saying to you like, hey, we can turn this around right now. Like we can turn our health around. Just listen to me. Allow your body to take the driver's seat allow your body to take the wheel this month okay then we have here new beginnings do we have another card here with new beginnings no okay so yeah we have new beginnings um there's some new beginnings i believe within your relationships that's what i believe that this is talking about new beginnings coming up within your relationships um especially with the soulmate card and a new romantic cycle begins this is new beginnings within your relationships whether it's romantic platonic family whatever the case this is in your relationships especially with the libra i balance card here which talks about um libra rules our relationships because it rules the seventh house so i do really believe that you guys are getting a chance here this is what th that's what this is that's what this impasse card is talking about this is a chance to forgive and forget or to hold on to this grudge some of you have a grudge that you're kind of holding on to as well um that this month is trying to work on cleansing out of you as we're in scorpio season scorpio season is all about passing um processing digesting metabolizing releasing old stale stuck blocked energy um so that could be things like grudges and things like that and that may be the impasse that some of you are approaching in this month of november moving into december is like do i forgive them do i be on my king of swords shit and just rise above all this or do i stay on my five of swords like 
defensive sort of like mechanism, you know? Let's go ahead and check out your health cards for the month. So we have here, listen to your intuitive feelings, like I was saying with your body. Um, and it says, dear higher self, thank you for speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways that I easily understand. Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to listen to my inner wisdom. Yep, that's what I was talking about. I don't really feel like I need to discuss that very much more. Sixth house as well, like I said, it rules your body and we have the sixth house card right here. Please listen to your, intu in your intuitive feelings this month because they're really trying to um, help you avoid certain things in the future, okay? And then look, recovery. Yeah, yeah, that's what your body's trying to do. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon the path of radiant health. That's what your body is trying to do. It's trying to help you get to a place where it's like, we don't need to recover. <laughs> you know, well, it's trying to get you to a place where there's like, there may be a few things, a few symptoms that's popping up right now for some of you. And it's trying to recover that because like I said, you have the uh, the opportunity right now to turn it around and to completely make a full 100% recovery. You know, like I'm not a doctor, but this is what I'm just picking up in your reading, right? Um, Is that your body's really communicating to you and saying, hey, we can turn this around right now help me, you know, help me help you turn this around, but you have to be in sync. You have to be in balance with your body. You know, you have to, to collaborate with your body in a sense. Okay. Work in tandem with it. So definitely listen to your body, your romance cards for the month. We have here passion and it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Like I said, some of you have been missing out on passion in some of, in your um, romantic relationships. And this is something that's pretty much changing for many of you. This is something that um, won't necessarily be much of a concern for you anymore. Um, but it's just a matter of you guys actually, it's just a matter of you guys allowing, like it says here, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Some of you, like I said, you have such a defense mechanism up with this five of swords, but we also have this trust card right here and speak your truth. So it's not just about, you know, just kind of trusting and letting bygones be bygones. No, speak your truth if you need to. Let a person know how you're feeling. Let them know like, hey, I think you fucked up. Hey, I think you owe me an apology. Hey, this is how I feel. If we're going to give each other a chance again, I moving forward, it has to be like this. Speak your your truth and then once you do speak your truth be able to move into a space with that person where you can trust them okay that's what's really going to invite back in passion if this is a romantic partner and then look reconciliation this is what i've been talking about i've been seeing this your entire reading since i actually read your astrological chart some someone from your past is returning to your life you guys i don't really think we need to speak much more on it because i've been talking about it your entire reading so far <laughs> again you have the choice here this is an impasse you have the choice to decide like do i handle this with a defense you know keeping a wall up or do i rise above it and decide to move on next romance card here give your relationship a chance work on your partnership you guys you guys many of you guys have a, a choice here you have a choice you have a, a opportunity to get to even recover your relationship wow that just came through some of you also have an opportunity like your health like with your health to recover your relationship to keep it from going in the direction that it's heading in so there is intuitive feelings coming through when it comes to your physical body as well as even in your relationships that's why that soulmate card came up for you guys yeah, this is a big deal. So that's what the star card is talking about. Taking a swing at something again is your relationship. Give your relationship a chance, especially with this reconciliation card right here. Some of you guys, whoever it is that is coming back into your life, this person may deserve a chance, but you're the you're gonna you're gonna be the one that ultimately makes that judgment. You have to make that judgment call, you know. And your um spell cards for the month that we have here is study. Let my mind be clear and strong let me study well and long like i said expand your vocabulary outside of what it is that you already kind of perceive yourself to be so expand yourself outside of like no i'm i'm not a procrastinator you know going back to that example no i don't procrastinate i get things done i just like to work in smaller windows you know so it's kind of like almost tricking your own subconscious brain so that the way you're not giving into the same sort of um limiting thoughts and ideas and words things like that and then we have here sensuality, your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. So this right here is again talking about your relationships coming back through. There is a chance for you to really to have a brand new connection with someone, someone from your past possibly. But you guys have the chance here to have a brand new connection as if like the relationship is brand new. It's just a matter of you trusting 
and allowing in that to happen. But you're the one that has to make that ultimate judgment call and decide, do I keep this wall up or do I move past it? OK, but you guys really do have the opportunity here to move into a completely new space, not just within your own life, but within a, a relationship with with someone else, which is really, really beautiful. Um, so, yeah, you guys have a lot of really good things in store. You guys have a lot of really good things in store uh, this month in November, moving into December. It looks really good for you guys. I, I have to say it's really just up to you. It's up to you if you kind of want to keep this wall up or if you kind of want to let me see what happens if I do kind of allow uh, the these things to transpire again okay which is actually really beautiful but yes this is all that i'm seeing for my gemini so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear off these cards bring back those three piles and we will get to you guys's uh, meditation and here on pile one we have lepidolite on pile two we have a dendritic agate and on pile three we have amber calcite Pile one Geminis, welcome to your reading. Like I said, I'm just reading the descriptions of the cards and allowing you guys to use your own intuitive voice to pull more personalized messages. That way you can combine it with the general message that you just heard. Um, so obviously, if I receive any sort of messages looking at your cards, I will mention it. But other than that, I'm just reading the descriptions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So Gemini Pile One, your tarot card for the month is the Emperor. And so if you have your own tarot cards or if you get personal readings done or watch a lot of pick of cards, you may notice the emperor popping up a lot over the next month. This is just the way that your angels, ancestors, guides, higher self will be communicating with you, sending you messages and signs. Your crystal for the month is Seraphos Green Quartz. Beautiful, beautiful crystal. Then we have here your spirit animal is squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. So you may see a lot of squirrels over the next month or dream of them, something like that. Um, your overall energy for the month is gateway. Gateway for me feels like a big opportunity for my Gemini's pile one. I'm not supposed to be divining these, so let me stop. And then we have here Jaguar. Um, and so I'll be reading the um, definition for this card out of the book. But first, just going to shuffle a couple of additional oracle cards here so you can think of something as I'm shuffling and make it an answer okay so we have here all about you and we have the card yes underneath the deck we have temporary all right, and what it says for Jaguar here, the Jaguar is a protector of all life in the Amazon, and in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through the jungle, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. Jaguar knows the ways beyond death and is the master of the shadows, blending invisibly between light and dark, night and day. The invitation to this card here says, Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She is delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown, to venture into the mystery and the dark places you've been reluctant to explore. Toss all caution to the wind. Know that your Jaguar instinct will serve you. Wow, beautiful. So Gemini Pile 1, this is all that I'm seeing for you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign videos if you haven't already. They're all linked down below. Well, let me thank your guides my guides our higher self amazing spirit for these messages and hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon so stay safe healthy and blessed and keep conquering the world bye guys all right in gemini pile two welcome to your reading so you guys chose a dendritic agate and my battery is dying i don't know why but i feel like 
every time I get to my Gemini's, my battery starts to die. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just reading the descriptions of the cards, like I said, and then I'm kind of stepping out of the way, allowing you guys to pull your own personal messages from your intuition. And so I'm basically just reading the descriptions of the cards. But obviously, if I receive any sort of messages as I'm looking over your cards, I will mention them. And you can uh, kind of take these messages and combine it to the general message that you just came from. Okay, so let's go ahead, check out your tarot card. So for my Gemini pile two is your tarot card for the month is the nine of swords and so if you have your own tarot deck or if you get a lot of um, personal readings done or watch a lot of pick of cards you may notice the nine of swords a lot and basically this is just going to be the way that your um, angels your ancestors higher self your guides will be communicating with you and staying in contact with you over the next month so you may see the nine of swords quite a bit your crystal for the month is emerald you may also have a few taurus placements in your chart with this emerald here then your spirit animal is horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Oh, this is such a pretty card. Overall energy for the month is transformation. Butterfly. I love that. Final card here is water. And I'll be reading the definition for this card out of the book. But first, you guys already know, I'm just shuffling a couple of extra um, oracle cards here just to see if there's any additional messages. So you can think of a question from shuffling first card that came out on the same page and then we have here a go with the flow underneath the deck we have growth and transformation and what it says about the water card in the book, water symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revival, and cleansing. It signifies an evolutionary shift from former self to new self. Many myths around the world speak of a great flood and the new life that is revealed after a deluge. Water begins without boundaries. Then, as soon as form has, has separated itself from water, it comes under the laws of time and life, thus acquiring limitations. When water arrives, you are invited to watch your emotions, know they are going to be changeable, and do not settle on a conclusion at this time. If you feel joy, feel that fully. If you feel sad, allow sadness to move through you. Water invites you to see the ebb and flow of events and trust you can ride the wave of opportunity when it arises. Natural flow is here. Go with it. And we also have this horse card right here that says freedom is yours. So be free with your emotions is what I'm really picking up from my Gemini pile twos. But this is all that I'm seeing for you guys. Like I said, my battery is dying. I'm so sorry. I have to rush through this. But thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to check out your moon rising and venus sign videos if you have not already let me thank your guides my guides are higher self amazing spirit for these messages hope you all come back to visit sometime soon but until next time please stay safe healthy blessed and keep conquering the world bye guys all right my gemini pile threes welcome to your reading so um you guys chose the amber calcite now my battery is dying so i'm gonna have to rush through this but um yeah i'm not reading the description or i'm not divining the cards i'm just reading the descriptions and allowing you guys to use more so of your intuition to pull more personalized messages from the cards here and then you can take these messages and combine it with the general message that you're coming from okay so um yeah uh let's just go ahead and get started obviously if i do pick up any other messages i will mention it but yeah let's just get started so gemini pile three your tarot card for the month is the three of cups and so basically if you are somebody that owns your own tarot deck or you get personal readings done or you watch a lot of pick a cards um the three of cups is going to be a card that kind of comes through a lot over the next month for you you may notice it in a lot of your readings kind of following you around this is basically just the way that your spiritual team your angels ancestors guides higher self will be staying in contact with you communicating with you sending you messages and signs things like that your crystal card for the month is apache tears so definitely work with that if you have any your spirit animal for the month is bat spirit a rebirth is assured overall energy is focus final card that we have here is the medicine wheel in reverse and i'll be reading the description for this card out of the book but first let me just shuffle a couple of extra cards here my battery's dying so you can think of some cards as i'm shuffling you may receive an answer And so we have here no. Very first card is no. And then we have be patient. And underneath the deck we have healing and progress. Okay. 
All right, and what it says about the medicine wheel, the medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with the four cardinal directions well marked. It represents a cycle of life, the cycles of nature, and the circular pattern of our cosmos. It has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its directions symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. So the medicine for this card, you must not postpone your healing journey any longer. It can be difficult to start, but you must find the inner strength to step into the medicine wheel or you may lose your opportunity. There are many ways and many paths. Choose the one you resonate most with. Once you have found it, the only mistake you make you can make is not to follow it go boldly so this is all that i'm seeing from my gemini pile three thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to check out your moon rising and venus sign videos if you have not already they're all linked down below um let me thank your guides my guides our higher self amazing spirit for these messages hope you all come back to visit sometime soon but until next time please stay safe healthy blessed and keep conquering the world bye guys <laughs>